Hey everyone, welcome to episode 39 of The Perfect Tower 2. MT15 just came out and it should be a joyful event, but I have some trouble with it. I want to share them with you. And it's pretty complicated because there's so much to unpack. So we're going to go through part of it. First thing I want to look at is I notice that I can add more workers, which I just did. And now I'm going to do five asteroids instantly, uh, not instantly, but automatically. Why is that important? That's because I'm really going to need sure damage, but money. So the most money I ever got is E78 when I did my 10 billion infinities. I guess last episode was my prime in this game because now I really feel like a total noob. I don't understand so many things and uh, I find things odd and complicated. Factory, I'll try to show you everything that I feel is relevant. I switched to blue gems. So I got, uh, what's that? That would be um, 10 million e gem producer. That's enough. Now I need blue gems. I'll explain later why. Headquarters already. I had a recording when I do it, but it doesn't matter. I just went unlock and I needed 300 modules. This is the requirement to unlock empty 15 and you get access to boss number five, but you do have to unlock it. We will, but I need money as well. The way understood at least. For contracts, I didn't find anything new, I think. Oh, there's this though. But that's because I have a new blueprint, that's right. Can I uh, make this permanent? I don't remember. I don't really care about this because I am uh, not going to do any jump cuts, but I'll figure it out if it's just temporary or forever. Like those are forever. Oh, doesn't matter. Conditions is to have at least five active modules, which I do. Technology no change. Software, yes, there is change. And this is what I'm going to try to use to cheese. <laughs> and uh, I want to see the effect because I, di I didn't fully test it. And this is marvelous also. Thank you, buddy boy, for your help. He try to read this. Let's be honest here. Remove the infinity base limitation of Wave Horizon and turns into... I already did that once in one of the episodes. People found it funny, but I mean, this is so... It's absolute rocket science. I didn't understand what it did. I tried to use it and make sense. He explained it to me and I will share it with you just in case you don't... Uh, if you're normal like me, you don't understand this. <laughs> I don't know. I Unless I'm slow, I don't know. But this seems like rocket science. Even this... Although it's easier to understand anyways. So I'm improvising here. I'm just going to show you Arcade. Unfortunately, I don't have enough. Because when you go to a new military tier, you lose all your resources. And now I'm super poor. I used to be rich. And it's very difficult to make money now. Laboratory, good news. Maybe I could... Uh, I'll do it later. I'll remove the worker that does the job here, but we're done. I think the only one left is this. This is new. It used to not be like this, but anyways. I think the rest is done. But that's not the goal of this episode. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. No, workshop will be important. I don't care about that, I think. There's new achievements, I think. I don't know, but I don't care for now. Maybe I care about this a little bit. So where do I, do I start? There's this here. Oh, well, military perks. Well, okay, Eternity, Anvil. I'm going to spare you the reading of all this. It was the only choice, by the way. We'll look at it. And it seems to be key to progress, but I don't really understand it fully. Now, I'm going to put a little image here of a thumbnail, Infinity Forge. I can no longer keep it a secret. Anyways, they change it so much. And Infinity Forge was basically cheating because you could get up to uh, the maximum of any muzzle for free. And it was that, that super secret thing in Discord. So I tried to 
like not show it but now they change it so much and we'll have to uh, look at it quite often to see what kind of progress we'll make this is the infinity forge so analysis apparently enemies are starting to mimic tower modules destroying enemies that are mimicking modules reward you with module fragments which is this and this number was not high like this that's when I started cheesing but I want to make sure that this is really the cause of this number okay we'll see um, so the special so the gray one cannot be mimicked by enemies so now they go with math here log 10 multiplied by infinity really I'm not gonna go on Google try to understand it I'm not a mathematician I'm not a fan of this uh, this description I don't understand it each enemy unit can make a total of log 10 infinity muzzles at the same time so what's the number I don't know their body is also covered in a thick skin that divides incoming damage by 1 e 50 and you are unable to remove it I had this impression that my DPS went down. Do I understand this correctly? I don't know. I don't understand this and I don't care for now. Okay. That's for later. There's only certain things I want to cover today. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long video. Anvil. As I'm doing runs, I get those fragments. And then what I can do is, okay, so I can, it's a bit odd the way they made it, but anyways, I can move it if I want some resistance for against water, earth, nature, or anyways, I'm getting one shot, so it doesn't really matter. Let's say I want to do more damage, uh, I use nature, don't I? Let's, let's find nature for fun. Where's nature? Here's nature okay so i can go like this and then if i just leave it like that i don't spam those and correct me if i'm wrong in my description then i have these temporary rewards to make it permanent which i will right now i'm gonna spam boom and now all of a sudden i have permanent so 38 if i do it again is it the gray or the green that is the actual number? The gray is the actual number. So these are permanent multiplier, these are temporary multiplier, and apparently bonuses do not have static positions, but are slowly moving. So I guess those stars are moving. So if you don't pay attention, eventually the stars are away from your little circle. You always have to, something like that. I don't know. It's my first uh, exploration of this. The grid. I thought it was, oh, it's all the same, the old grid, I, I covered that a long time ago, but there is something, look, I'm interested in this, it's going to give me a new muzzle, we'll look at how many muzzles I'm missing. So this is just a summary of all the bonuses I have from the anvil, okay, so you can tell I played a little bit on my own, in fact I was recording stuff and I stopped because it was just ridiculous. Now the Infinity Forge, what it does now, it reduces the cost of each module. And this is where the blue gem come into play. Okay, I really need a lot of them. And maybe I can upgrade this a little bit, right? But I need to make a lot of producers and the time I'm going to spend in the areas will help me get even more blue gems. So I need blue gems, e-gems, exotic gems. Are no longer that necessary for now i'm going to show you something in the infinity board okay so reforge levels five was uh, i think it was 1e5 like now it's 1.55 e5 but c1e5 1e5 1e5 so i bought this and i think you can reforge so if i go in my mt15 very temporary blueprint the red ones, I can reset them. I'm not sure what's the point of it. There was a reason, 
back then i don't know where you could um, because with the infinity forge you could also de-level certain oh yeah it was so you could uh, stretch the wave acceleration period if you were trying to push because i did 10 billion infinities but i wanted to do 100 billion which is nonsense because i didn't have enough dps but you could accelerate your wave acceleration, no, extend your wave acceleration forming session by deleveling your muzzles. So I think Reforge is this, and please correct me if I'm wrong. So you might say, well, where are the problems? <laughs> well, I'll show you what the problems are. Let's go here. Infinity board. Maybe I can start with good news. I'm gonna start with good news. Look at that. Max, 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 max. I already maxed out everything before MT15. And I think this is new. Extraction. But extraction of what? I don't know. But it was like 25 and I just bought max and it cost me basically nothing. So every, everything is maxed out everywhere. That's going to help me a lot. Because look at these numbers. Let's go. Remember the 10 billion infinities? Uh, it would be here, for instance. Now it's the millions. Look at how complicated. Easy, medium, hard, insane. There's all these formulas. Why? Why? I'm going to tell you that my first impression, and I might be wrong. Once I played it enough for a long time, maybe I'll love this. But right now, I have a saying. Well, many people do, but... If it's not broken, don't fix it. It was working fine. It's just that maybe wave acceleration was too long. You can make it shorter, things like this. And uh, tweak things, polish things. You do, you know, add stuff. But I mean, look at this. I don't understand this. Do you understand it? Maybe you do. Please let me know in the comments. Do you share my, my feeling? This is my first impression of this. Look at how complicated. I don't understand this. Now, okay. I die in uh, 4S easy Infinity 1. But if you remember, I'm going to put another thumbnail. And I was cheesing. So let's. I thought about this because I said, how am I going to make a video about this? Will it take forever before I can make a video? The answer is no. I'm going to cheese this. MT15 here, if I go in my... Oh, you'll get a chance to see my blueprint that I use, but sorry. The buttons. Where is it? Uh, give me a sec. There you go. Brain Freeze Adapted Infinity. A variation of this, because it keeps changing. I'm going to very slowly go down. There was things related to making more damage to... Um, Universal and neutral enemies here. If I go down like this, that's too fast. I'm going to slow down just for those who are interested in the muzzle I was using. But most of them were level C69 was 250. Okay, but it was the maximum. But now the maximum is higher. I think it's 500. I don't know. I've seen 500. We'll look after. So it's along that those lines what I had okay that's how I did my 10 billion unfortunately I lost uh, so you cannot ask me uh, my 90 out of 90 well I, I could send you this but I accidentally deleted or modified this too much my original 90 out of 90 INF blueprint is now corrupt unfortunately okay let's go back to MD15. So we're going to my inspiration. It was the way I did Chaos Infinity 1 was to move ahead a little bit, die, move ahead a little bit, die, move ahead a little bit, die. Okay. Using things like Immortality Shield. So I was dying before, but I think. Um, I was missing allow the tower to survive attacks from infinity enemies 
I did not have that in my so that's a mistake that I did when I was talking with buddy boy sorry buddy boy I made a mistake because I was using my very old very old blueprint which did not have this and you cannot survive in infinity without this that's why I was dying I said how is it I was getting frustrated man I'm using invincibility and I get one shot I should survive two seconds this is two seconds survivability okay so now let's take a look at numbers let's remember I'm gonna even write it down Sorry about the vibrations and all, I'm gonna get a boon on soon. 2.1 E4 for the red. And 15.89 for the blue, just for the fun of it. So what I would do, and once again, I will improve my cheesing blueprint. I could go here, impossible chaos, okay? This is gonna look horrible, I'm a noob again, okay? Let me know what you think of this insane approach. So, what I'm doing, I should probably, uh, this is going to be challenging to, <laughs> oh no, uh, because it's too fast. No, see, it's, uh, it's in gameplay. Gameplay, it starts, gameplay, and give me a sec. I didn't expect this. Come on, I gotta be quick. Okay, give me a second. Sorry about that. Gameplay... So annoying. There you go. Let's try again. If I ever stream, it's going to be like that. Okay. So... I get one shot. That's because I'm not even using... <laughs> there you go. So I should survive a little bit. See? So 94. 96. Right? Look at my money. See? So what I'll do now... I'm gonna... Now that I know I can do it outside... I'll let it run overnight for 8 eight hours of sleep or something put it three seconds try to make it one second here yes and uh, I'll just let it run out infinity too right so that's how I'm gonna cheese this let's wait a few seconds let's wait a few seconds I want to get some of those fragments and I want money but e60 is pathetic I need more than this because I want to unlock boss number 5, which we'll do soon. It's been 18 minutes already. But this is such an important episode. And I want to see... Let me know what you think of this MT15 stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here. Let's just see if the numbers went up, okay? So I could go other areas and find... Well, I'm going to get one shot no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. But this, uh, this is a very cheesy uh, <laughs> blueprint. So let's get out of here. You know, one of the disadvantages that I have is um, if I wanted to go here, look, because I pushed pretty hard in the past, it's not I1, it's I4683. So if I go here, I use the same tactic. So if I go longer, I don't make any money. But C4683, 4, you know how slow it is, you see? So it's not great. I cannot find a place where I can really, with this cheesy uh, method, I think the only way is a place where you can make a lot of money. I think there's a place that's I1. This is I2. If I go here, it's pretty early in the game, right? So I survive a little longer. Why? Not really. Do I do a little more damage? Maybe. But I don't make any money. So it goes to make money. Let's get, let's get out of here. Okay, so I've I done some of it, just remove the overlay. And let's take a look upstairs so I have the number beside me please tell me it's higher it is I had 2.1 e4 right and I'm 2.41 e4 in a few minutes 
and I gain 1000 for the blue. So I'll do that. I'll let it run all night, but I'll try to tweak it to do more damage. That's going to take me a long time. Okay, now we're going to look at Infinity Board. I need to, there's something new is craft a boss and I need all my stones. So I'm going to deactivate this and look, it still recharges fast. There you go. I'm fully recharged and I can craft a boss. Boom. Nice. So that's the good news about those maxed out upgrades for EGEM. How do you call that? Exotic refinements maxed out really helps. And now I should have access to Thoris. Before we take a look at this boss, I forgot two things. Where we start, I said I would explain what it is. So all it is, is when you restart a run, it will put you at the highest infinity you ever was. That's why my cheesing method is great because every second I go at the highest I ever was and I move forward like this. Infinity Horizon eliminates the need for this wave acceleration period before a run. So the wave acceleration factor continues to go up even though you are into infinity. So that will make things interesting if I can survive more than a few seconds. Of course, right now I'm just cheesing. So I wanted to add those precision. Oh, and one last thing. No, two last things, two more things. I said level 250 is tier 250, the highest I could find in the Infinity Forge, which would be level 25,000. I don't know how it is now. Okay, so tier 250, so I made a mistake there. And the museum, the museum, I just wanted to show you that we have eight muzzles missing. So I don't know what they are about, I don't know if they're good, and I don't know how to get them. And there's new achievements that I don't know how to get either. Um, why do people say it takes insane amount of money? I don't know. You want me to try to fight it? I'm just going to move my sheet of paper. I can't even... Okay, this is one E70. I don't know what that means, but I can go like this and can I upgrade it? Oh, wow. No, I don't have enough money. So I cannot go with that. I don't know what that is. Let's try it out for fun and we'll end the video here. Uh, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of this, um, but it's day one. It's day one, so I'll give it a chance. I don't think they should have changed it so much, but maybe I'm wrong. Please let me know what you think. Uh, how do you feel about it? And let's try this boss if I can. Uh, it will be my first time. And I'll end the video on that. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future video. And uh, that's a warning. I think we should not attempt the boss without getting all the upgrades first, right? I don't know. It's not letting me. Oh, that's why people say you need one E70. Really? Unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess the video is over. So I'll see you around.